Hey guys, this is Gamer Free 10,001 with part part three of Etopa's Mega Man hack. And as you know, in the last part we fought Magnet Man and Hard Man. But truth is, um, my dad got home, so I couldn't do the video because he was gonna interrupt it. Now, there's just a good things going on, like. I just got sponsored by some place called Console Buffoonery, which is where I will be playing all my Rockman 2 hacks on there. I'll also be doing exclusive videos of my, like, you know, my Rockman stuff. Like the hacks that I made, but... Like the hacks that I made, but they were crappy, so... I did release them, but I'm not proud of them. I'm sort of proud of them, but I'm not very proud of them. But I'm proud of some of the levels. Maybe I'm proud of like levels like Wily 1 or Wily 2, maybe, but most of the time I'm really not. The only hack I was, the only, the only hack I was ever proud of was Mega Man 3. I made one a long time ago. For some reason, it just automatically deletes the download link that download, download after a while. Not because I did anything wrong, just because it deletes them after a while and you can't really keep them on there. And I'm like, oh yeah, um, someone asked me to like, download something like a few months ago and it's like not there. Someone asked me to download something back in February and it wasn't there. Which that was when still all my hacks were still there now. One of the ones that I made was a, uh, was a Mega Man X. It was incompletable because of Flame Mammoth's um, stage, which I made impossible practically. And we died. But luckily we start right here. Luckily we have Spark Shock. Parents through all those difficult times. And then we die again. And uh, this time we are not dying. This time we're not going to die here. And we just did it again. Which means we get a game over on Hard Man stage, and now we're going. And since we've got a game over on his, we're going to do Shadow Man. I'm sure hoping we can get a few Robot Masters done in this video, which would be really awesome. Never mind. Let's load this. And with that comes. The unhappiness of failing. I mean, failing can be happy sometimes. They say failing isn't happy, but yeah, I can be happy. Depending on how you take it. If you take it as a learning experience, it can be happy, but if you take it as some failure, then it can be sad. Now this stage has got some penguins here. And it's a very complex stage, as you can see, meaning that you spend a lot of time on it. Now mine are like, I don't, I, I, I look at it when I first make it, and I think the level design is awesome. When I go back and play it months later, I'm like, I'm not proud of this. I just, like my Super Mario World one, for instance. I canceled the Bowser's Plan one because it was so, like, it wasn't very well designed. So I just said, no, it ain't going out to Super Mario World Center because they're just going to tone about how terrible I am and it's probably not going to get submitted. However, this is what I'm working on after after I edit it with hex codes and I change uh, Luigi's character to Mega Man and I change all the graphics of the bosses and everything. It's for sure to get uploaded, but I decided the first world would, um, would have no, like, EXG effects, so I decided that world well, would have it. Or maybe I'll put EXG effects, I'm not sure what I'll do. I'm 
I'm still deciding. Should I add EX to your facts or should I not add EX to your facts? Now, when I was playing this by myself, this is the first I've ever gotten this stage. Because that was when I was experimenting with it to see how well I would do. Which was a very fun experience, kind of. Gotta see what that is. No. Just, just gonna keep reloading this day until we get some energy. Some good stuff, not some bad stuff. That we don't need. No. That's the thing. That's what people do when they're playing when they're playing on a computer and stuff. To play the hack or something, what they do is that they um, just reload it. What they do is that they just re keep reloading it until they get what they want, flip it on doing. And, and come on, I'm gonna make the jump, thank you. But I didn't need to do that, Mega Man. Extra life, no, I don't feel like extra life right now. But let's see where we start first, though. Uh, no way, we're not starting at the beginning. Now, as you can see, um, the things I'm working on are... I'm planning on making them very complex. Unlike the other things I've made, which are extremely crappy or not not, not very hard worked on. First one, that, that's because I'm, I'm a lazy sort of person. If something doesn't work, I just go ahead and say, oh, well, it doesn't work. I guess I'm going to have to give up. But with this one, I'm not going to give up. Now, I have friends that are lazy as well, I think, because I don't know why. I just attract, I just attract lazy people, lazy friends. You know, and I'm like, seriously, he's too late. My one friend's too lazy to do a lot of things. He won't go anywhere, so we could just do lazy to go in, go anywhere. But I see him at, I see him at school all the time, so. I see him at school all the time, so it doesn't really matter. And, and no, he's not, he's not a Pokemon fan, he's a Mega Man fan, but we used to get along. We used to get along because we both like Mega Man. And we, and we talk about Mega Man hacks, and we talk about Mario hacks, and stuff like that. We, we, we specifically talked about one hack for a while. It's called um, Brutal Mario. Now, um, I'll, I might be doing an LP of a hack, of a hack on um, this console thing, buffoonery thing. Call it, uh, it's going to be um, a hack of... I think it's going to be Pokemon Darkness, which is a very good hack, by the way. I specifically like it because it's hack where you play as Mew instead of Mario. And being, and being a Pokemon fan, you have to enjoy it now. Right now, I'm on what? Um, sorry, okay, now I'm thinking about getting it, uh, buying an N64 so I can play games like. Mario Co uh, uh, no, um, Pokemon Coliseum and Mario 64, both good games by the way. And a little bit of thought, um, when I said it was the first 3D Mario. Looks like we have three lives, I'm going to die on a gentleman, not on it. I suck at all the Mega Man 3 bosses. Like, no matter what I do. Oh, and his weakness does not change. Which means we have to use weakness. That's a pain. That's a pain. The butt to exploit. And 
we beat him, which means we have four robot masters down. And since we already beat the boss, that has weakness to this. What boss are we going to do next? We only have four robot masters left. We're going to do. I think we'll take the crack at. Snake Man stage. Not player stage, but the stage is like blue. It's like air with the parachute guys. There's some new graphics in this level, but not very much. There's some new graphics in this level, but there's none. Oh crap. I should have let the state before we the boss. I think you can see why the top thing is crappy. You have to take damage to literally even use it, which really sucks. I mean, it's like, it's like, hey, let's take some damage. Let's take some damage before it's hit before. So you have, so let's take damage when we hit the boss, so to make it fair. This is, as I said, this is a whole bunch of parachute guys and very small platforms with parachute guys. Now the thing is, um, with this console but for anything, it's I, it's some British thing that wants to sponsor me. Which is very good because I wanna get some more views, I wanna get some more subscribers, but the thing is my camera's not HD, so what do I do? I could always just borrow my mom's video camera and use hers. Since it's HD. And we keep dying. She's gonna save state right there. Got a bunch of parachute dying on this stage hard just like all the other ones. I'd say the easiest stage is probably Top Man. Even though I said Top Man is difficult, it, he's really not. Top Man is really not that difficult at all. Top Man is actually very easy. And we are at minute mark, which means we got 17 minutes to go, unless I feel like recording 45 minutes, which would be cool. Main reason is, is that I don't do that because it takes forever for it to upload, so I'm only going to do 30 minute videos. No, I should see this is fall. Yeah. It's how if I uses these things. Wait, I got a call real quick. I gotta go check that. It probably wasn't anyone important anyway. It probably just Wells Fark that would be to call my parents. It seems like um Enemies that weren't very used in the game are like really used in a Talifies thing. It's like if they weren't used in the um, original game, they used a lot in the Talifies hack. Looks like we're going to suck right here. And this is probably our third level. That's what we have to do. Navigating. That's it. I'm using rush coil because I don't want to risk dying. 
Now, rush coil is one of the few things you always get in the scam. Besides pee your mega buster. Looks like we have we still have yet to make this. Which means we're going to have to do something. It seems every video we get about two robot masters done or three robot masters done if we're lucky. Again, too high. Jeez. I would prefer making trying to make the jump with rush coil or or if you have rush jet, make the jump with rush jet because obviously rush jet is probably the best the best thing in this game probably. Because you can cheat and stuff. Oh, I hate this part. Oh great, is this gonna be a sliding on the top thing? Yeah, I think so. Yes, just like I thought, it's just sliding on the top thing. Now this, now as I said, this hack does abuse slide jumps. Jumps that you can't make by sliding. Although I do like how he tell off by his enemies that weren't used in the original game. Therefore making it weren't used very much, they were used only in a few levels. <laughs> If they were used only in a few levels, that means that they obviously, like, top spin was only used in one level, which is kind of sad. I found, I, the top spinners, I kind of wish they would use more. Although, I might play my Rock my rock Man 2 hack on the, the I, I might play it, but it's, like, bad. It's not very good. I didn't spend that much time on it and I was lazy. So I'm like, so I didn't really spend that much time making it. Oh crap. Now he's bringing in the spikes. And Mega Man, this is a slide Mega Man, you weren't supposed to jump. Oh crap. Oh no, we guys it. Negotiate a jump on the slide jump or spikes. Crap. Oh, I actually did that on the first try. How amazing. I did that on the first try. I'm so, that, that's so amazing. I've never gotten that. Of course, when I play this game on a practice run, I never. If you are asking to do a sack save stateless, no, I am not going to do a save stateless. It's way too hard to save stateless. And it looks like, oh my god. I hate jumps like this. I hate jumps like this. There's a better spikes above you. Even though I like to use it in my own things, there's better spikes above you. You have to jump. And then you have to negotiate a, a even lower jump, make, therefore making it harder. And we just keep falling into the spikes again and again. Now we're going 6 to 8 while we shoot the tops and dodge them to, the, to our liking. I think this hack has helped me with the slide jump. Now, and it looks like we're going up. <laughs> oh no. But, I mean, what's the point of doing that? You can just go down here and you can just shoot it. And we get some extra health. Oh, and we get some extra health. This one better give me extra health. Oh well. 
Don't want to get an extra health. That's fine. Um, and how are we going to get the health tank? Or the E tank? That's the question. I think we're going to have to get Rush Coil to the edge. First, kill this thing. First, kill this thing. And now we're gonna try to get Rush Quill to the edge. The edge of the thing. Just a little further. Oh, that doesn't work. I'm gonna try to get Rush Quill to land on the other edge. Oh well, I guess we won't worry about it. I guess we're gonna die in pain on this level and we're going to get stuck on it forever. See, in this video, we only get, uh, get like one Robot Master done. Which is very fortunate for, especially for a hard thing like this. Seriously, I need to try to land this. No, too close to the edge. Too close, I mean too far from the edge. Seriously, this lands a little jump. Seriously, tell if I, if you're, if you're going to watch this, would you please tell me how to make this jump? Come on, Rush Coil. Never mind. Okay. Apparently Rush is being difficult and Rush does not want to make it. Therefore giving us a harder time. Therefore giving me a harder time. Therefore... It's, it's too hard to get something. Right now, I'd probably just given up. I'm giving up on this hack. I said, oh, it's too hard now. I'm giving up. That's what I would have usually said. And that's what I normally say. I don't know what his weakness is. I think it's the hard knuckle. I'm correct. As you can see, I suck at the Mega Man 3 bosses, so... What did I use the Shadow Blade on him, I guess, even though it really isn't his weakness. I don't remember all the bot weaknesses for Mega Man 3. Shadow Blade actually takes a fair amount of damage. Now I'm going to spark him. Maybe I'm going to stop. Now I'm just going to call this. I guess we'll do it with rush coil. That's my best bet. Rush Coil is our best bet. My, my best bet in defeating this boss. Please, won't you die, Snake Man? No, stop the light and kill someone before you. 
this would all have been prevented if we would have tried to get that tank, but, but I didn't know how to get it, so... I didn't know how to get it, so I had to, of course, go without it. Of course, Snake Man is hard on the dodge. I can dodge Snake Man's actual body. Come on. To make this Mega Man. And we have about four minutes left to defeat this boss. Since I suck this thing, man, that won't happen.
Just Snake can't jump so much. He can't even keep up with his pattern. I'm gonna try to learn his pattern for now. I'm gonna try to learn it because I'm gonna have to beat him anyways. The second time as well, which is going to suck. Um. Let's keep fighting this boss, I guess. This has been Gamer Freak 10001, and I'll see you. And I'll see you guys um, later. In the next part, we will be um, starting Statement Stage again, and this time we will beat him. Bye.